Hi everyone and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play with Sims 4 Vampires. So Gwen is just about to wake up from her slumber and like I said last time we were going to be having the family go over to Vlad's mansion in this part because Vlad has heard that there is a new vampire living with the Duquette family and he likes to keep tabs on who's living in his tiny little neighborhood so whenever there's a new arrival he likes to get to know them. So even though this family isn't that close to Vlad and they disagree on certain beliefs, they're still going to go over to his house for dinner so that he can get to know Gwen. But Jessamine told Gwen that it's probably best that she change her look a little bit because Vlad is not that fond of humans. Because in the past there have been a few humans who have tried to kill him. So yeah, not exactly fond of humans. So probably not best that Gwen shows up looking like a human. So um... Jessamine told her that she could feel free to look through her closet and pick out an outfit that goes a little bit more with the style of this world. So we're going to go ahead and have Gwen go upstairs to their room and pick out some new outfits for herself. Uh, probably also do her hair a little bit differently. Uh, so yeah, let's plan outfits. So this is Gwen's new look. It's definitely more vampiric than what she had before, but it's still a bit more modern than what the rest of the family has. And I really wanted to use this hair on her, so I made her hair a bit longer than it was before. And I did download a... Ooh, whoops, I didn't mean to have the camera jump like that. But I did download a version of this hair without the flowers because I didn't want to have the flowers on all of the outfits that she, wear, she wears. I you know, felt like it's a bit better to just have the flowers on the more formal outfits. But yeah, fortunately, someone has already made... A new, well, it's been like a month since the game pack came out, but yes, fortunately someone had made a, hair, a version of this hairstyle without the flowers in it, so I downloaded that, used it on her, and I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description in case anyone else wants to get it, but shortly I'll be having the family go over to Vlad's, but first I wanted to have, um, actually I don't know if he's going to try harvesting these, but I, I don't think he is, but anyway, I wanted to have them harvest these plasma fruits and then make some plasma salad to bring over to his house just to make sure we have something for them to eat. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a grab both of those and then make a nice big party size serving of plasma fruit. And then after that, we'll go over to the party and it'll be a fun time. And it looks like she's already... Yeah, unfortunately, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh... Okay, wait, no, we want to go here cook. Uh, yeah, so we'll just make a party size serving of plasma fruit salad. And it looks like she's already thirsty. I've had her, um, because I did play a little bit through the day. And I had her drink two or three plasma packs already. So yeah, this girl is thirsty. Uh, but after the dinner party, I wanted to actually try making some plasma packs. Because you can make plasma packs using fish and frogs. So yeah, I think I'm going to have them just get a bunch of fish and frogs and make their own plasma packs from that. Because it will be a cheap bit cheaper. Because how much were the plasma packs? They're like 50 simoleons each? Or were they 200 or... I don't remember, but anyway, they're going to go broke if we keep having them live off of plasma packs like that, so we definitely need to get some, get, some, get a cheaper source of food for these sims. Uh, but yeah, I'll just be throwing a dinner party at the mansion once she's done with this. Alright, the food is made, it's in her inventory, so let's get on with planning this party. And I'm just going to do it as a dinner party so everyone's dressed up all nice and fancy and... All of that good stuff, and yep, well, of course, we have having at the Strahd Mansion. Uh, so yeah, we'll do just a dinner party. I'll just turn off the prestige event thing, because I'm probably not going to pay too close attention to the goals. 
So I guess we'll just have these two be the host, although I mean technically Vlad's gonna be the host. And then for the guests, we'll just pick um, everyone else in the family and then Vlad. And then, uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna bother to hire a caterer because we've got the plasma salad. I mean, anything that we, that um, a caterer would make probably wouldn't even be edible to them. So yeah, there's not really much of a point in it. Uh, but yeah, looks like everything's set up, so we'll head over there. So everyone has just arrived and they're all dressed up in their fanciest clothes. And it's not just Vlad who lives here. Uh, Cause back in the speed build that I did for the house that this family is living in, I you know said that if anyone wanted to make Sims that I could move in, feel free to do so. And Bubblegum Girl three six six made um, I don't know where they went off to. Um, anyway, they made Tabitha, who is Vlad's twelfth wife, and then they made her daughter Pearl. So yeah, it's not just Vlad living here on his own. I thought that was kind of cool to have that addition to this household. And it looks like Jessen is on preparing some drinks. Awesome. Uh, so anyway, let's get. That plasma salad that she had in her inventory. Ooh. Wait, what? What? Wait a minute. Did he just flirt with Tabitha? Wow. Oh, wait. Did she turn into a dark form because she was pissed off at him flirting? Oh, man. I did not realize that they did that. That might also be because she's really thirsty, but I don't know if she's quite... No, she's not thirsty enough for that. She turned into a dark form because he apparently flirted with her. And she's pissed off about it. So that's kind of cool that they turn into their dark form when they're pissed off. But, um, I mean, I don't think he did anything too serious. He probably just said that she looked nice or something like that. But, uh, Jessamine is not happy. She's glaring at him. Oh, wait, she's flirting with him. Holy, what the? Oh, snap. Okay, well, there's some. What the? Oh, man. Okay, so maybe these two aren't the, like, perfect, eternally faithful couple. I thought they were, these two are just like straight up flirting right in front of Jessamine. Wow, look at that. They were got a little, they literally just met. Okay, um, wow. You know, we're gonna have her yell at him for that. Cause that is not, that is not cool. I mean, part of it was her. I think she just blew a kiss at him or something like that. Um, actually, no, let's yell at rather than insulting, but wow, that was, that was something. Okay, we're gonna chew him out for that. Just be like, what the hell are you doing? What are you thinking? And then, um, I don't know what her deal is either. Wow, we're gonna give a rude introduction to her too. Cause uh, she is, wow, okay. Uh, Vlad's wife is not cool. Does he even care? He's just over here chatting with Pearl. Like he, he gives no, he, he gives no craps about this, apparently. He's not in his dark form, so I guess he didn't get too pissed off it. So uh, yeah, wow, what a start to the dinner party that was. Okay then. Uh, yeah, so let's get that plasma salad out of her inventory. We're just gonna stick it here. Uh, maybe after things have cooled down a little bit, we'll, uh, call everyone to the meal. Uh, yeah, so. Well, that was fun. Ooh, what is this anger-related thing she wants to do? Mock someone. Um, hmm, should we have her... Should we have her mock her? Why not? I'd imagine she's not to, uh, vampiric duel. Do we want to... I don't know, we probably shouldn't like start a straight up like vampiric duel here. Uh, but anyway, while um, she's doing whatever yelling she's gonna be doing at her, uh, let's have- Wait, is he- is he in his- Okay, no, it doesn't look like he- he was just hissing, he's not in his dark form now. Um, but anyway, we're gonna have Gwen go up and introduce herself to Vlad over here, because she hasn't really chatted him to yet, and he is the master vampire, so we should have her chat with him a little bit. And um, upon meeting Vlad, she also noticed that he has the same silver hair and extremely pale skin that she has. And I believe also the same eye color, because I think he has the same... It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but I think he also has the same blue eye color that she does. So she's kind of noticing that, and she's wondering if maybe he's somehow related to her. Like, is it just coincidence that they have all those characteristics in common? But I mean, then again, they don't really have a ton of other features in common, so it might be a bit of, she's thinking it might be a bit of a stretch to think that they're related, but she's kind of wondering to herself, maybe I'm somehow related to this guy. Because there are a few similarities there, and uh, she's wondering if he's kind of noticing the same thing. So we'll have her talk to him, get to know him a little bit better, gossip about ancient vampires. Uh, so she learned that he's a loner just like her. Hmm. They even share some personality traits. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's uh, ooh, let's make a vampire pun. I didn't pay attention to the first part when they, but when they make these, uh, it'll actually pop up with a little pun over here. So this time I want to actually pay attention. Let's see. Why are vampires always so tired? They're always dead on their feet. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's so clever. Good one. 
I think we should probably call everyone to the meal so that they can all sit down at this lovely table over here and eat together. So we'll go take care of that. Because this is the dinner party after all. So we should probably actually have some dinner eating going on. Uh, ooh, looks like we might need to change his diaper. Okay, someone should probably do that. I guess uh, since Jessamine's over here, we'll have her go ahead and change his diaper. Yeah, there you go. Go take care of that. Okay, never mind. We're not going to sit at a table. We're just going to sit. Whatever. I, I really do not feel like trying to wrangle all these sims to sit at the table together. I just don't have the patience for trying to do that right now. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna have them meet where they are. All right, are you gonna, are you gonna go change, change his diaper? Or are you just gonna stand her pissed off? Yeah, she is not having a good evening. Poor Jessamine. Okay. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay, you are a dirty child. Uh, let's, let's just go and change his diaper. Hopefully this works now. What is this? What, wait, what is she trying to do here? Watch. Okay, yeah, go. Please go change his diaper. And yeah, it looks like she's still in her dark form. So I wonder if we can have her turn back or if maybe she's... Okay, no, she's not stuck in it. Oh, wait. Why is he throwing up? I mean, they ate the salad. I don't think that's human food. That's weird because I don't know if he has... Maybe he has the withering stomach. Was it withering? Yeah, withering stomach weakness. But this... I didn't think this would, should count as as um human food okay please change please change his okay no, let's have uh because jessamine's not doing it uh so let's have him go ahead and change his diaper yeah because someone really needs to do that oh wait we can't uh but i still smell like oh we might have to actually bathe him to get that to go away darn okay well i guess he's just gonna have to be sneaky this whole night um but um she's still pretty livid about what happened earlier so let's have her throw a drink at him now that they're in private let's just have her uh do that there we go <laughs> yeah i kind of get yeah she's still pissed off so we're gonna have to have it we're gonna have her get after him more for that okay so this is kind of messing with their relationship a bit but i mean he kind of deserves it okay so anyway uh let's have her talk to vlad a little bit more because i wanted to have her try to get him to give her a little bit of vampire training because i mean he is the master vampire it's always good to learn from the master, so, uh, wait, 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 that was in Vampire. Okay, why can't we request it? Needs to be a better, oh, okay, he's not a good emotional state, darn. Okay, let's, uh, let's go over and give him a combo. Maybe if we talk to him, we can make him a little bit happier. Who knows? I don't know if he's in a bad mood because of this smelly kid over here. But, um, I have a feeling if we, wait, where are you? Oh, there she is. Uh, oh, she also needs a shower, but I have a feeling if we try washing... Augustine here that he that will get kicked out. I don't really want to get kicked out. Although I could get the always welcome reward trait. Okay, anyway, let's see if we can get okay, no, we still can't get vampiric training. Yeah, darn, because I was also hoping to maybe have him spar a little bit, because I kinda like the idea that he would want to spar to get a feel for her powers as a vampire, so we might be able to um, well, we can have her show off vampires. Can we have her spar? Let me see if we can have her do a... Yeah, we might not be able to at this point. Darn, but we can at least show off powers. So, we'll do that. Okay, don't... Don't try to take a bath here. Okay, come on. Let me... Let me show off powers to him. Alright, we'll try this again. Okay, there we go. Showing off her powers to Vlad. Yeah, not quite as cool as a duel, but maybe we'll still get a chance to do that. And for whatever reason, they're not facing each other while doing this, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I was really hoping to get a duel. Like, I thought it would have been so cool to have her duel the Master Vampire. And it would be even cooler if she actually won it. But I mean, she's only showing off her power, so that's still, still pretty good. Uh, let's see if he's in a good enough mood to get training from. Or maybe we could at least... Sparm now. Okay, we still can't sparm. I think we have to get to know him better. Ooh, we can request vampiric training from him. What are you? No, don't take it. Don't just go take bubble baths at someone else's house. That's really, really, really rude. All right, now that she's out of there, let's see if we can get some training from Vlad again. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Let's try requesting it again. Oh, he's coming up. Wait, no, that was Marcello. Oh, hi. Um, no, I wanted to get training from Vlad. 
Okay, so hopefully we can actually do this. And after that, oh no, this plasma fruit salad's bad. But after she gets this training from him, I think I'm gonna have them head out of here because I'm sure they've overstayed their welcome a bit. Unless maybe I could have her spar him after this. So I would like to get spar him, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this, if this is gonna get them up to the level. Maybe it will. Ooh, looks like it was frustrated by whatever happened. And we're also getting her some more power points, I believe. So that's good as well. All right, have we gone her anymore? Okay, no, not yet. Uh, but what is everyone else doing? How is everyone else doing? Uh, let's see. Oh, apparently he's having an aggravating conversation. Uh, how is she doing? Ooh, she's tired. Yeah, we gotta... Yeah, the kids aren't really in the best mood. Uh, let's see, do we get any power points? Really? Darn. Okay, well, let's see if we could possibly have them spar yet. All right, looks like they still can't spar, so I am just gonna... Okay, stop. Just don't take another bubble bath. I'm just gonna have everyone get out of here, because, yeah, we've been here for... Wait, no, don't go to daycare. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have everyone get out of here, because, yeah, I think they've overstayed their welcome. So, we're back at the house, and Jessamine is still furious from catching Alessandra flirting. And, uh, I noticed that she also has a couple things coming up here saying drink uncontrollably, and... Uh, it appears as though I can't cancel out of them, so, uh, I guess this is a mix of- wait, 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 I don't want to catch this. So I guess this is a mix of her just being incredibly pissed off and a little thirsty, because, I mean, she is thirsty, but she's not desperate level thirsty. So, I feel like this is driven a bit by her anger, and, uh, oh, this is not good because this is completely going against her beliefs, but I guess she's just so blinded by rage that she's just losing control and- Biting poor Virgil anyway, which is, uh, completely what she's against, but yeah, I guess she's just losing control of herself a bit. Uh, so yeah, that's rather unfortunate that she's doing this, and yeah, apparently there's just like, I, I couldn't cancel out of this, so she's just gonna do this. There's not really anything I could do about it. And, um, yeah, because I, I, I thought that they wouldn't drink, un they wouldn't drink uncontrollably unless... You know, or just, like, bite a sim unless they were, um, you know, really, really thirsty. So I'm really thinking her being angry like this has some kind of impact on that, so... Unf Ooh, yeah, so unfortunately, uh, she's kind of went, went, uh, against her beliefs by doing that. And she's still angry. Wow, I don't think I've... Wow, 11 hours. Yeah, so she's going to be angry like that for a very long time. And uh, I'm surprised she, she was actually okay with him kissing her there. So that's rather unfortunate that she just did that. And she does have the guilty drinker weakness. So let's see. Yep. Feeding off the living gives Jessamine a bad feeling. But being thirsty seems to be far worse for her. Yep. So she's not really feeling so hot right now. And um, I wanted to try to get some frogs and fish to make some plasma packs like I was saying before. So even though it's a day, I think I might actually have her try to go out and get some stuff. Because I did give her sun resistance, so it won't affect her as quick. So I'll try to keep a close eye on her vampire energy, which is pretty much full, and just have her go out and get some things. And she also has supernatural speed, so she'll be able to zip through really quickly. But uh, yeah, I think it might be good for her to just get out of the house and get away for a little bit. Let her cool off, because she is just she's still incredibly livid. So before we send her out, uh, let's just go ahead and find some stuff first. So I know there was a fishing spot... Over here somewhere. It might actually be better to get frogs because it's more of a guarantee. Because she could fish for a really long time, not end up getting anything. Although, let's have her go out here and harvest that plasma fruit tree. And I believe there should be some frogs around here somewhere, hopefully. Ooh, what is this? Oh, wolfsbane! I think they have one growing at their house, but we can have her go and get another one. And, uh, garlic. Okay, no, we don't need garlic. Where are the... I really want to find frogs. I know there's got to be frogs around here somewhere. So I just looked all over the world for frogs, and I couldn't find any, unless I'm just missing something. So I'm just going to go ahead and have her fish after all. And we'll see if we can find anything. It does look like her vampire energy is going down. Um, I mean, it's going down at a good pace, but it's definitely a bit slower than it usually goes down. Wait a minute. What is that? Okay, that's just from being thirsty, not from being out in the sun. Good. Uh, let's have you go ahead and take a shower, and then after that you can go to the bathroom and figure out something to eat. So we'll just cue that all up for her. Uh, did he have any? I think Gwen still had some plasma packs left. So we can go... Okay, never mind, she didn't. 
Uh, yeah, so I'll have to get some more plasma packs for him. Uh, hopefully she can get some fish. Yeah, because fish would really... Or, um... Well, I mean, I, I, I kind of wish we could get frogs. She at least... Oh, she has a ton of plasma fruit, though, so we could have them eat that. Because I don't think they can... Yeah, they have to make plasma packs from either fish or frogs. I find I would find it really surprising if they weren't there weren't any frogs anywhere in this world. Like, I feel like there really should be some, so I don't know. I might just be being an idiot and missing stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool how there's some candles on the statue here. Kind of like a little memorial. That's nice. And I also noticed that uh, she wants to fight with Tabitha because apparently she just really hates Tabitha now. I don't know, maybe... Maybe uh, Alessandra and Tabitha have a little history or maybe... Uh, maybe Tabitha kind of has always had a thing for Alessandro and I don't know. It's, it's She seems to really hate Tabitha a lot. And, ooh, we got a batfish. Cool. So, um, actually, I'm not sure how you make plasma packs. Ooh, okay, that's easy. You just click on and create it. That's that's pretty simple. Uh, so hopefully we can get some more of those because it's, yeah, if that's, yeah, it's actually going to be a pretty slow process to try creating plasma packs, unfortunately. So I might have to have them, unless there's just some spot with frogs that I missed. I might have to have them go to another world to get some frogs so that they make they can make plasma pra ugh, plasma packs. But I looked all over the place and I could not find any frogs. But anyway, we'll have him go ahead and order some plasma packs because yeah, we need some. So yep, order plasma packs. We'll just order a crap ton of them. Yeah, because uh, that's so expensive though. Whatever. We'll just spend a thousand smolans on them. Just stock up while uh, we're trying to get up a supply of fish. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, how's her, how's her uh, vampire energy doing? Okay, she's still got a good, uh, you know, good way to go. Ooh, have a sim stay awake for 24 hours straight. Well, that's pretty easy when they're a vampire. They don't need to actually sleep. Ooh, look at that. She's not pissed off anymore. See, I had a feeling that just getting out and getting some fresh air away from the house would do some good for her. So it looks like uh, the anger has subsided a little bit, although she's still going to be... So she's still gonna have this mood lift for another eight hours, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we'll let her stay out here for another couple of hours, and then I'll let her inside. Uh, how is- oop, never mind, we're back to angry. Yeah, that, uh, that didn't subside for long. And how is he doing? Oh, tired again. Oh, look at that, he's just snap- oh, this, this poor kid, they're not the best at taking care of him. Oh, uh, he's- oh, it's so cute though, how he's just napping on this little pillow. That's adorable. I- Ah, uh, so after I had him get back to the house, I didn't put him to bed, but I guess someone let him out or he got up, because, yeah, I put him to bed, so he should have been resting. Uh, okay, yeah, she's not having much luck catching fish. How is she doing? Uh, yeah, I mean, she'd probably be good for a little longer, but we're just gonna have her get, yeah, we're just gonna play it safe and have her get back home. Don't wanna risk anything, no reason to do that. And, uh, I guess we'll let Augusta nap for a little longer, since he seems to be pretty happy here doing that. And then I will try to remember if someone give him a bath afterwards because he's still pretty smelly. But now that Jessamine's back, we can have her go ahead and make those plasma packs. What are you doing? Go back home. Wait. Ah, uh, no. Okay, good. She's not going to drink uncontrollably from that guy. I didn't want to have her do that again. Uh, yeah, so that might... Uh, maybe she's doing that because she's in her dark form. Yeah, but at least she got out of that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have her hide her dark form just in case. That's the reason why she's randomly biting Sims, because we really don't want that. Alright, yeah, there we go. Uh, so anyway, let's have her get on with making that plasma pack from this. So there we go, create plasma pack. And, uh, after she does that, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this part. So, did we do that? Nice, we did that. So now that we're done with making the plasma pack, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up. And in the next one, we'll finally be aging Bellatrix up to teenagers, so pretty excited for that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye! <laughs>